Thank you for tuning in. I'm Corinne, and this is my vegan Bahamian conch fritter recipe. You wouldn't even know these things were vegan. You wouldn't know. They are so delicious. In any case, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and let's jump right into the recipe. So I, the night before, I'm making my mock conch meat. This is a king oyster mushroom that I have roasted in the oven just until it was tender. I didn't bother cutting off the rubbery parts and I'm about to marinate it overnight. And I'm, it's marinating inside of some sea salt kombu as well as a dash of agave nectar. And so that marinates overnight. I pull it out and my mock kunk is ready to be chopped up for the recipe. Now these mushrooms can get very chewy depending on how you cook them or what part of it that you cook. So it's a really, really great substitute. And so this is the recipe. I have my mock kunk meat as well as my flour, garlic, almond milk, baking powder. Here are my tricolor peppers. My spice mix is cayenne, salt, pepper, and onion powder and some celery. The onion powder tastes so good as opposed to the fresh onion in this recipe, so I recommend that. And my potato starch egg replacer, which I forgot to include here on the screen. So moving on, I'm just going to mix all of the ingredients together. And you can use, in this recipe, I used a gluten-free flour mix. So. If you are gluten-free, you can make this recipe with a, a standard gluten-free flour mix. I use the, the Pillsbury gluten-free pre-mixed flour mix. And, uh, and if you're not, you can use regular flour. It works with both recipes. Or, or it works for both recipes. All right, so after I gave that a mix, right into a pot to fry them. And it's a, it looks like a big pot, but it's a very small pot. My, I think my hand is bigger than the pot. And so it's a little pot of oil. So you don't have to go out and buy this huge container. Just make sure you have a, a small pot to fry a few a time. And this isn't the healthiest recipe, but come on. Bohemian kung fritters, you have to fry them. There's no such thing as baked kung fritters. <laughs> In any case, so moving forward, I have some parsley. And here's an avocado. And what I'm making here is just a really quick dip for my fritters. And so it's just an avocado, some coconut yogurt. It's unsweetened, vegan coconut yogurt. And some sriracha and a squeeze of fresh lemon. And that's ready to go. Kunk fritters on the plate, a little bit of a garnish, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the recipe, and I will see you next time with another recipe. Before you leave, make sure you go over and check out my Instagram account and go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I would love to see your food pictures, so make sure you tag me in any of your vegan food pictures and check out some of my other videos. I have a couple linked in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it and I will see you next time.